Hello, in this video we are going to take a little break about coding and look at HTML attributes. Well, before we do that, we are going to look at um, a tags and elements. Well, an element is made up of two tags, okay? Um, that's now here, if there's a paragraph, then what goes here would be an element. So if we have the paragraph and the closing, opening and the closing uh, paragraph tags, then those tags are going to give us what you call an element. Now, uh, tags do a lot. Elements do a lot of things, and they tell us, uh, they tell the browser what uh, the implementation part of it, what should be implemented. For instance, when a browser lands on something like this, it will implement it as a paragraph, okay? And if it gets something like this, it will implement it as the heading one, actually the biggest heading. Uh, in HTML okay so actually tags uh, uh, people try to sometimes people don't differentiate between tags and elements and someone would ask what's the difference it's nothing really much between that uh, because some people will call it uh, you find some people call them the tag elements some call them uh, elements some call them tags they cannot differentiate because they actually do the, the some things almost but now a clear definition could be that that I made earlier that an element is made up of two tags a row although some people call them tag elements sometimes call them elements some people call them tags and that could be a clear definition that an element is made up of two tags i.e. the opening tag and the closing tag just as seen in the examples of the paragraph element and the heading element okay let's get on to attributes attributes um, they just they give you more information about um, that element okay um, we see that we can see in the, an example of a paragraph tag whereby we introduced an attribute class this is a CSS uh, attribute uh, so we are talking about uh, paragraphs now in this paragraph we we see that that we, we we have more information i mean and this does not give us more information about how the how the paragraph or how a tag should behave because you see that if you look at the upper one for instance paragraph this one's gonna tell the browser that this is how the text which is here should be behave as a paragraph and the text which is here should behave as a heading okay now um that alone the browser will just do by default but attributes go and give more information okay that this is a paragraph but it's of a class uh, css and the the the, the, the uh, they should not only actually be that uh, they should not the, the the tags i mean attributes do not only give more information but also give the behavior okay more how should they actually behave okay it's a paragraph well we know that but how should this app paragraph be should it be appear in text green should it be uh, of a particular text or style so all this um, is seen in a number of things okay and something also we need to know about uh, attributes is attributes uh, should always be in the opening tag okay now this is paragraph we are opening paragraph tag and this is where our attribute goes and it should not be in the closing tag okay yeah if you look at that keenly you realize that attributes always come in a closing tag i mean in an opening tag and they should never always be in the closing tag all right so that's how attributes work um I can also introduce another attribute here called uh, label. Label. Now, uh, here, label tag has an attribute called for. Well, I purposely uh, introduced that because I didn't want to uh, get uh, mixed up. Okay, I didn't want to get that mixed up. But when we look at for, for is normally used for only label. Yeah only label so uh, you realize that some of the attributes are used almost everywhere okay like class it is almost used everywhere but for is particularly used for label that's why I used it in this video 
because it may not be applicable in other fields or other tags. Now, as before I close up this video, let me show you something about attributes. Attributes always have actually three items or items, okay? We have what we call the class, which you can see here. We have what we call, actually the class, uh, it's, it's, it's a name. It's a class, okay? What is the class, uh, the name of that attribute? The name of the attribute particularly here is class, okay? So it has one item called class, and it has an, another item called equals, equals signs, and also another item called value. So it has three items, that is name, equal sign and value name equal sign and value so all attributes actually have those three items okay so we are going to interact with a number of attributes and actually these attributes play a lot when uh, we are doing we shall look at them when we are doing css tutorials and javascript but basically, I wanted you to intro. I wanted to introduce them to you in HTML so that when you reach there, you actually remember and know what is the purpose or what the purpose is. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Let's catch up in the next video. Bye bye.